Hey guys and welcome back to the official Sourcing of Kian YouTube channel. I'm so happy to have you with us here today. So the online Canton Fair is upon us and you want to find out how to find the best products and the best suppliers from the online Canton Fair. Well this is the video for you. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Kian Gozari and I've been living and working in China for the past 10 years. In that time I've manufactured over 2,500 products, visited more than 500 factories and attended more than 20 Canton Fairs. This will be the first virtual Canton Fair that I will attend. Uh, in that time I've manufactured products for big box retailers in the UK and the US as well as working with licenses such as the NBA and the London 2012 Olympics as well as supplying the United Nations and helping Amazon private label sellers with their brands and their business as well. Now the purpose of this channel is to teach you how to master the art of sourcing products from China. China! That could be getting better prices, better products, uh, better factories, better quality control, all that sort of stuff. So make sure you hit subscribe to the channel and tap the bell to turn on post notifications so you can stay up to date with the latest of what's going on in China. So let's get into it. The Canton Fair is the biggest import-export fair in the world, normally located in Guangzhou, China, but for the first time ever, this Canton Fair will be a virtual and an online Canton Fair based on the quarantine, lockdown, pandemic situation that we find ourselves in. Now this is the 127th Canton Fair and it will be online from the 15th to the 24th of June. And I've provided a link down below in the description. So make sure you click the description, click the link, and that will gain you access uh, to register for this online Canton Fair. Now it's important to realize there will be 25,900 exhibitors from a wide variety of different categories of product in China and these are actually the best suppliers that you can possibly get access to, way better than the suppliers that you'll find on Alibaba. And the reason for that is the suppliers which are allowed to exhibit at this Canton Fair are the ones who have paid for this exhibition and paid for this fair in advance because the type of people and the type of buyers that come to the Canton Fair in real life are the serious buyers, the buyers for retail stores or the buyers for their online business, but they're de doing decent volume and decent business, so therefore the, can the manufacturers feel it's worth their while to attend and visit these fairs to meet the real buyers. Now these factories are so good that their production lines are always full because they're that good at what they do, that they don't need to list their products on Alibaba. You know, the type of suppliers that list their products on Alibaba are the ones who need orders because their production lines aren't full, so they have to pay a service fee to Alibaba in order to gain the orders and gain the customers. The suppliers at the Canton Fair already have full production lines because they're very good factories, so they don't even list themselves on Alibaba. So this has now opened up the entire playing field for everyone to go to the online Canton Fair and have best access to the best suppliers. And I'm gonna keep you right in this video so you can gain the best impression that you possibly can on these amazing suppliers. Now, there are two ways to register for the Canton Fair. If you've been to the real Canton Fair before in Guangzhou, China, you will receive a blue badge, which looks like this. Mine's gonna appear on the screen here. Don't mind my hairstyle, it looks a little bit like Justin Bieber back in the day. That picture was actually from 2010, so no judgment, please. Uh, but uh, you can use the number which is on the front of that badge to register uh, for the Canton Fair. And if you've never been to the Canton Fair before, you can still register, you just sign up on the website using uh, your business information and you can register very quickly. So let me just grab the laptop. I'm gonna go in, I'll show you a live demo of how we can register real quick. It's not gonna take long at all. And then after that, let's dive into the real Canton Fair and I'm gonna show you what it's all about. So grab a coffee, get comfortable, grab your notepad. I'm gonna get set up and I'll see you inside the Canton Fair. Oh, and guys, remember to register for the Canton Fair. I've already put a link for you down below in this video. So just go to the bottom, click the description and the top link will be your link to register. So you don't have to go on the website and find it because there are a few different websites which are pretending to be the Canton Fair. So don't get fooled by any of that. The link is down below. And one more thing, if you are excited to jump into the Canton Fair with me, please smash that like button for me real quick because that will tell YouTube which you act, that you actually like this content. It will show it to more people and I will greatly appreciate that. So let's get started. Hope you got your coffee and let's go to Canton Fair. Okay guys, how we doing? Let's get into it. So to get into the Canton Fair website, let's just go cantonfair.org.cn. Now, I've tried this a few times and uh, to be honest, it's not the best website. Uh, and I'm being polite there when I say it's not the best website. It's actually a bit of a disaster. Um, 
so okay here's how we can best navigate it always select uh, English so let's translate into English um, now if there's two ways to register if you have the badge number and if you don't now when it says registered it should just be register and uh, here's what happens again it defaults to Chinese and you have to click here to translate into English uh, we are an overseas buyer continue registration put in your badge number and uh, this will take forever to load you might want to watch this video in like 1.5 speed as well uh, just because it's not the fastest website and prior to making this video I had to try several times from my computer uh, in my office in my home from my brother's computer and I even asked friends uh, in different parts of the world to try and we've all had trouble and even in the Sourcing with Kian Facebook group there's been a lot of comments from people who haven't been <laughs> able to register and still like this is not going ahead um, anyway so if you go to login I've actually managed to create an account um, it took a long time to do it um, so I can log in here but if you don't have a login you can also just go to buy a register oh sorry that brings us back here um, so if you can log in great but even me with logging in I was there you go all right thanks a lot guys uh, let's log in again see what happens um, but anyway I just wanted to include this part in the video so th this is interesting this happened before right so if you copy and paste this uh, copy and then when I pasted it here, it said upgrading and maintaining. We are upgrading the website and cannot access it during the upgrade. Sorry for the inconvenience brought to you. Well, guys, this is the first day of the Canton Fair. It's supposed to be live right now. It's not a time to be upgrading and maintaining the website. So um, they're really, they haven't made the best platform available to us. I really wanted to get this video out to show you guys what the fair looks like and how to navigate it, but we can't log in. So what can we do? We can still search and stuff like that. We just can't contact uh, suppliers without logging in. So let's just go to keep it as exhibits. In the video I did on Alibaba, I said massage gun. Uh, let's just try massage chair. Uh, so let's see what this brings up. Again, it sort of defaults to Chinese. Um, we can just switch it to English. One thing I want to mention though as well that the Canton Fair is run by the government. So the government are not so like forward thinking and able to sort of make websites like this. Uh, they're not very like e-commerce orientated, such as a company like Alibaba. So that's why, I mean, I, I was expecting the website not to be amazing, but this is just terrible to be honest. Um, when you type in something like massage chair, okay, it brings up 727 results, but the way that they've even organized it is really bad in that this is the factory name and they've just decided to list this company per first and they're going to put all the images of this particular company until we go for like 727 images so like are we expected to scroll through 727 images before we actually find the product that we like and there's only the image like it's not giving us any information here about uh, price about MOQ um, about where the supplier where they do business, anything like that, how many years they've been in operation. So we're just supposed to guess based on the picture. So whoever is on like page 5, 10, 20, they don't stand a chance, right? But let's just say, okay, we take this one. This is a particular item that we're interested in. Um, again, let's uh, translate it and wait for it to load. And okay, we can pick up this chair for a dollar. That's great. I'll take a container of them. Um, so that's not helpful either um, they do have like just photos and stuff like you would see elsewhere uh, you can add it to favorites product specifications is going to be very important uh, just to see the dimensions of the chair their model number as well so whenever you're quoting and you're asking for a price make sure that you always uh, ask or you always reference the model number so you know you're both talking about the exact same item because the pictures are quite similar and uh, they do provide more details uh, further down below as well which would be quite useful for you to understand fully about the product um, but okay this is a product product that you might be interested in obviously that's not the price so you want to find out more uh, that's where you can message the supplier but when you click message the supplier that's where they're going to want you to log in uh, which we weren't able to log in before let's just see if this works hopefully they fixed it mm. 
Mm -mm -mm. Oh, cool. I think it worked. So, oh yeah, all right, I'm in. Uh, but it's probably gonna ask me to enter more company information. Yeah, your business information is not perfect. You cannot access this function. Uh, so when I go to complete company information, then it comes here. So I would guess that there are too many people accessing the website at the moment, or they just don't know how to build a website. Um, but there are certain other aspects of the fair, which I hope once um, they get the website up and running properly, they will be able to access, uh, such as the live exhibitors. And um, if, uh, so let's just take a look in here real quick. What we can see is that like who's live. Again, you have to be quite selective of like, I actually clicked on these before and I don't even think they were live anymore. So you click here and it doesn't, let's see what happens. Let's watch. Got 80,000 likes, wow, okay, cool. Must have been a lot of people watching that. All right, it doesn't seem like anyone's here. Oh, here we go. Interesting. Hey guys, nice bags. Cool, some info, oh, that's smart, you can scan the factory. So, yeah, I guess, if you go to the live section and you see any products that you particularly like, uh, then it's worth watching these lives and there'll be more to load, but there's a lot of stuff to navigate through. There's 6,000 streams going on right now, but it doesn't even seem, oh, so let's just go for uh, energy and resources. That's interesting. Okay, this is probably the best part of the Canton Fair to um, go to the live section, click on the category that you're in and then watch the lives of whatever product that you may be interested in, get more information and get the factory information because as I said, the best sort of factories are listed or they do go to the Canton Fair. Yes, the Canton Fair are not exhibiting them in the best way or even a remotely good way, but they are here. So if you can go through the pain uh, of finding them and maybe take your communication off of the Canton website um, as soon as possible, then you'll, you'll benefit greatly. Hey guys, me again, just checking that you hit that like button for me real quick and if you aren't subscribed to the channel, please hit subscribe. Thank you and let's get back to Canton. Uh, the design, the Canton Fair Awards is really cool. For anyone who's actually been to the Canton Fair before, this is a little uh, booth or hall that they have in between uh, area B and area C and then any sort of like uh, product which is won a design award is exhibited here. Uh, so if they have anything virtual here, that would be great that we could just sort of take a look. Uh, so so th that's kind of between the two areas that I was talking about, um, between halls B and C, the design uh, hall is kind of like hidden in here. And uh, if you can, if they let us in, oh, that's cool. It's always worth checking out this bit because this is always like the new products that uh, the Chinese factories have been working on. And you can just sort of get ideas for like design materials, what are the innovations, so it'll all be in this hall. Uh, so if you're into kitchen appliances, uh, let's hope that it brings up the information here. A three, a free breathing cookware. Um, so, so this won the gold award. Uh, I'm not quite sure what the benefits are, uh, nor do we have the time to sort of go through it on this video. But uh, if you find the design hall on the Canton Fair website, um, and then you can go in here and you can have the patience to look around. If you see a product in your category, um, this will be like the top of the innovation for this particular, um, for your category. So this one, a bronze award. So th this is probably a really good place to get ideas. And this is probably a little cheat code because I don't think anyone is gonna be, after having the difficulties with logging in and <laughs> registering, to go to the Canton Fair Awards, waiting for it to load and then navigating through um, that part. So. That's, um, that's one thing you can do as well. And um, what I also wanted to show you was that if you're like me and you like to develop products at the Canton Fair, not just buy products at the fair, I did make a video on the last Canton Fair to show you how it actually looks inside the fair and how I develop products. Now, the platform doesn't give us the, the ease or the option to sort of develop products, how we would be able to do it face to face, uh, but at least you can get the company information. And if you wanna watch that video, how I develop products, I'll link that above and in the description of the video below. 
Um, and if you want to know what type of questions you should be asking the, the suppliers at the Canton Fair uh, or just suppliers in general, I've also made another video on that as well. Uh, Hey guys, uh, one thing I just wanted to add while we're going through this online Canton Fair is don't get discouraged if you don't see what you're expecting, if you didn't see the level of quality level of suppliers or the type of products that you were looking for because from my experience the real Canton Fair is an amazing place to find the best products and best suppliers and develop your products uh, and I actually made a video on how to develop the best products which that link will appear up here um, so you can actually see what goes on inside the real Canton Fair. But my concern with this online fair is because it's the first time they're doing it, there may be some teething issues that the organizers aren't necessarily aware of. They've never sort of built an online platform before. And if you were looking to register for this fair uh, before seeing this video, well, it was only three days before the fair started that they actually made the website available for people to register. So, and a lot of things weren't going right. Then they had like, um, the website wasn't loading properly. It was going through like some administrative issues. So don't get discouraged if the website fails or if they are aren't displaying the suppliers properly. It's an amazing exhibition and uh, even the suppliers, it's new for them as well. A lot of these suppliers, remember, aren't really used to working with computers or used to working face to face. And I've been talking to a lot of my suppliers on WeChat, asking them how they've been preparing for the online Canton Fair. Some of them are very well prepared and some of them don't really know what's going on and, and they don't know what to do. Usually before a Canton Fair, I would always get emails from all my suppliers to say, hey, this is my booth number, come and check us out and we would schedule like a meeting. I've received like, on one hand, I can count how many emails I've received that the suppliers have given me their online virtual booth number. Now, I normally get hundreds of those emails and I've received very few. So the suppliers aren't really being proactive because it's new to them. They're going to be feeling it for the first time as well. So I just wanted you guys to bear that in mind that don't get discouraged if it's not as easy to navigate as Alibaba because Alibaba has been an online platform for many, many years and this is the first time for the Canton Fair. So there will be some issues, but that's why I'm here. I'm going to keep you right. Uh, definitely join the Facebook group if you aren't already because during the Canton Fair in my Facebook group Sourcing with Kian, that link should appear here, uh, I will be sort of doing live demos and we'll be doing a lot of discussions about what's happening in the fair. So let's discuss that uh, in the comments below or in the Facebook group and uh, let's get back to the fair. Now, the live streams, that's probably where I would spend most of my attention on this Canton Fair. Um, Again, these links don't really work and hopefully they fix it because the Canton Fair is for 10 days. Today is the 15th of June. It's gonna go on until the 24th. So I really, really hope by tomorrow uh, they fix this. And uh, in the Facebook group, Sourcing with Kian, I'll be going live in there and we can just see up, uh, day by day if it updates. Now, one thing which I think is quite interesting, which no one's really talked about, is if we go to Alibaba.com, Alibaba have noticed that the Canton Fair have got their online trade show and they know that probably the Canton Fair are terrible at building websites, whereas Alibaba kind of specialise in that. They've decided to put on their own trade show. So you go here, Alibaba trade show. So this is something I would also check out as well. Now we know that the quality of the suppliers on Alibaba are not as good as the suppliers uh, at the Canton Fair, but um, we can take a look through here and just see if we notice anything like interesting. Again, they have like some, uh, some live video demonstrations, which they don't normally have. Uh, they've listed their hot products, which are interesting. I wonder if it just brings up massage guns, because that's what, something I made the last video on. They're actually going June 8th to June 28th, uh, so that's going to be on longer than the Canton Fair. Um, they've also got conferences as well. Uh, if you click there, you can watch live presentations. Um, and then they've got floor plan, ready to ship products, leading suppliers, fashion and trends. So this, I actually feel, is probably going to be a better website, well, a better experience than the Canton Fair one. But if you have the patience, definitely navigate through the Canton Fair one uh, to get access to the best suppliers. Um, again, they have a VIP access here as well, which they're going to give you, that's very interesting, next, net 60 day terms for US only. I don't know how they give you that just because you're a VIP. Because to be a VIP, all you have to do is upload your business card. Uh, they give you the exhibitor list, which would be quite useful, trend, uh, useful trend data, which would be useful. Um, so without, don't get frustrated with the Canton Fair website and then just leave it there. Check out the Alibaba trade show as well and just see what they're offering uh, compared to what the Canton Fair are offering. Yeah, so here's the sort of presentations I was telling you about. Um, visit a sportswear factory. Again, right, this is all just general information and there's nothing beats going to China and going to the Canton Fair and meeting these people in, per in, in person. 
And because there's been a poor online trade show, I can't stress the importance of actually going to the real Canton Fair when it reopens. Hopefully, the usual dates will resume, which will be the end of October to the beginning of November. And don't be discouraged by such a poor online show. Um, in real life, the actual show is a million times better than what you can see here. Um, I personally feel bad, you know, because I wish I could have shown you more of this website and how to talk and how to navigate and how to sort of um, have your experiences with the suppliers at the fair and like the best way to interact and how, to, you know, they told us there was going to be like virtual meetings. We can't even log in to have those virtual meetings. Um, but like I said, in my Facebook group, I'm going to be going live regularly and um, hopefully day by day we'll, we'll have more updates. So th I just want to give you a quick insight. Uh, my best suggestions would be uh, focus on the live, pick your category, try and interact with the manufacturers there. Also check out the award section and continue to try the buyer section to see if you can log in. Even if you can log in and you click and you type what you're looking for, there's a lot of different images to navigate through. So hopefully uh, they fix that. As well as if you know a supplier who normally exhibits at a Canton Fair, just contact them and uh, they will have a booth number which you can type in and then you can go straight uh, to, to visiting their booth as well. Um, but I'm sorry I couldn't be more help guys. Uh, I wish this would have been a better experience. Uh, once you've exhausted everything you can at the import at the China um, Canton Fair, definitely check out the Alibaba trade show, see if you can pick up any gems there between now and the 28th of June. And I would just say continue to go back uh, to this online Canton Fair and see if at some point it does let you in and you do get a better experience. So thanks for that guys. And uh, let's jump back to the studio. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that quick little insight into the online Canton Fair. If you do have any questions from what you've experienced in the fair so far, uh, please write them down in the comments below so we can all sort of uh, check out and help each other. Uh, as well as if you had any daily wins, if you did something that you're quite proud of, uh, you met a supplier that you always wanted to meet or you found a product or you developed something, uh, please share your daily wins in the comments below and let's all just encourage each other and uh, help each other out. Uh, and I love engaging with you guys in the comments and hearing about your journey and hearing about your story. So let's all engage down below. I'll also be sure to make a follow-up YouTube video to the, to the Canton Fair to sort of show you guys the best way to follow up from a fair because remember after uh, a, an exhibition or a fair like this, these suppliers are going to get many, many inquiries. Now it's not like Alibaba where they get inquiries every day. The factories which attend the Canton Fair just sort of get their inquiries after an exhibition like this and they all stack up. So possibly I'll make another video quite soon uh, about how to best follow up and how to get your samples as quick as possible and how to get your samples free uh, as well. So if you want something like that, let me know in the comments below and I'll make another follow up video on how to follow up from the Canton Fair. One more thing I wanted to add is uh, don't be nervous, don't be worried if this is your first time uh, contacting a supplier through the Canton Fair. You know, these suppliers are very, very uh, helpful, they're fun, they like doing international business, they like, th their passion is business just like you and me, so don't be worried about interacting with these guys, uh, they're, here, they're here to help you as well. Uh, so this is going to be a fun experience and just remember that there's over 25,000 exhibitors here, so just use this as practice or maybe use Alibaba as practice before you come to the online fair. And you know, if you mess up or if you feel like you didn't make a good impression, don't worry about it, just move on to the next supplier. Um, for example, one of the items like bags, there is three massive hulls of bags. So like if something goes wrong with one supplier, there's plenty more fish in the sea. So don't beat yourself up if thing, th things don't go as planned. Uh, these suppliers are here uh, to help you and it's also practice for you as well. So just have fun with it, enjoy it, and uh, it's gonna be cool. And if you feel like you need additional help uh, in the Canton Fair or beyond the Canton Fair, I've also made myself available for one-on-one -on -one coaching, which a link should appear uh, here and also in the description down below. So if you wanna book a one-on-one -on -one session with me and go over uh, your product, your pricing, uh, your factory, your product development, your quality control, your testing, your inspections, anything like that, anything to do with products or sourcing in China, if you wanna have one-to-one -one time with me, the link is available down below and uh, I look forward to engaging with you guys there as well. Now, if you aren't already part of our Facebook community, I'd highly recommend you join the group of the same name, Sourcing with Kian on Facebook. That should appear here. And in there, people post their daily questions. I jump in and answer it. And it's just a great community feel. And there's a real passionate network about sourcing. Uh, or if you're feeling a little bit more social, you can connect with me on Instagram, where I'm Kian underscore JG. That should pop up here. And uh, I post a lot of stories when I'm in factories. I show a lot of stuff going on in China, uh, as well as just you know general fun stuff as well. So let's connect on Instagram as well, if you're on there. 
Now, uh, if you want to learn more about sourcing on Alibaba, if Alibaba is your preferred platform, or if you're watching this video after the 24th of June and you've missed a chance to go to the online Canton Fair, well, uh, I've also made a video on my top seven sourcing hacks to find the best manufacturers uh, on Alibaba, and that link will appear uh, at the top here and probably at the end of the video uh, as well, so you'll easily find that. But there are very good suppliers on Alibaba as well. There's just a lot of middlemen as well, so that video is just about to teach you how to navigate through all the junk and just get to the best suppliers. So with that being said, I'll see you in the next video. Take care, happy sourcing, and I'll see you soon.